Hello, Luzon, Visayas, in Mindanao. I, the man I am introducing tonight is a man who lives in Bagasinan, and he has been a seaman for 18 years at Merck's Line. He has three children and is married to Marge C. Solano. He is a student of Pastor Jade Lilina IV at Rocknet International. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you Ferdinand M. Solano. Uh, good evening po sa ating lahat at uh, uh, ako po si Amba Perts uh, ng Pilipinas at uh, gusto ko pong ibahagi sa ating lahat bilang uh, uh, usapang kaharian ang ibig sabihin ng John 3.16 no? at uh, ito po ay aking uh, hatiin sa apat. Sabi po sa Bible, for God so loved the world yun po ang una that He gave His only begotten Son yun po ang kalawa. Whoever believes in Him should not perish at yun po ang ikatlo, but have everlasting life. So, yun po ang ikaapag. So, dito po, ay sinasabi sa pangalawang reading, then uh, doon natin malalaman uh, in a deeper way. No? So, for God so loved the world, this world is the stronghold that God set His majestic kingdom become to be unshakable. Ngayon, Uh, that He gave His only Son, meaning Jesus Christ is the blending of heaven, uh, is, He is the blending of human and divine amidst heaven and earth. Uh, the reason why He came here on earth is to reconnect man back to God and bring back the heavenly culture on earth. And then, whoever believes in Him should not perish. Meaning, uh, Those who are practicing the command prescribed to the uh, intended purpose of the king will not be destroyed, but have everlasting life. And to those who are firmly faithful and devoted to the kingdom business calling, then the words and honor of the king is that they will live a life of heaven on earth, just exactly a carbon copy of heaven here on earth. Now, a kingdom person can deliver the message of the kingdom immediately based in an excellent uh, reasoning, information, and condition, having a firm foundation of a well-grounded obedience without making minor changes of grammatical translations that will result of giving different form of meaning. Why? Because the kingdom person can express God's word in a kingdom truth or in a different form of uh, reading, while systematically maintaining the firmness of its unique meaning in the original sense, even the authentic stability of its purpose. Uh, for example, uh, in John 8.31, Jesus said, uh, If you obey my teaching, uh, you are truly my disciple. Now, what kind of teaching? Of course, Jesus he never preached about salvation. He never preached about the cross. He never preached also about the rapture. He never preached about casting out demons, healing the sick, uh, about prophetic or uh, apostolic ministry. Even his name, even though his name is uh, amazingly great and powerful, he did not preach it. What Jesus preached is only the message of the kingdom. That's why when you read John 8, 31, if you obey my teaching. So what kind of teaching? Kingdom teaching. Jesus said, you are truly my disciple. Now I'm going to express it in a kingdom, in God's kingdom truth. And this is just uh, exactly what Jesus is saying. If you compel to control your attention, your interest, and your imagination to my kingdom instructions, indeed, you are my testimony. That's the first one. Now we go to the second one. If we, if you put your arms around my kingdom didactics affectionately, exactly, you are my demonstration. That's the second one. Now we go to the third one. If you put into words positively organized and carry out my kingdom curriculum with conviction, precisely, you are my duplicate. That's the third one. Now we go to the last one. 
the moment you give your ears to pay close attention for you to become a law-abiding citizen playing the second fiddle of my kingdom academic practical training and discipline square and straight you are my ambassador so ganon yung ano uh, ngayon uh John 316 is is not about is that not, it does not speak about salvation John 316 is we need to think about seriously to look upon in a particular way how government leaders rule today why because John 316 uh, as I said, it is not about salvation. Kasi kung salvation, dapat nakalagay, uh, for God so love man, for God so love human, or for God so love humanity. But it says there that for God so love the world. Now, the word, word here, uh, it means a world system. The wicked system of this world. Now, system means this is an organized group of constituent forming and uh, working to exert rebellion, disorders, disobedience, illegal activity, unlawful, and criminality. That is the meaning of system. Now, uh, it is an organized group of constituent. Constituent mean in Tagalog, mga taong ikinakatawan ng isang politiko. May kakayahang bumuto, may kakayahang humirang ng isang tao, may kakayahang magpabago ng saligang batas o konstitusyon. In other words, ang taong ito gumagana bilang bahagi ng isang kabuuan. Yun ang ibig sabihin chuens. That's why John 316 means God is indicating in this world a system that He has a goal and a purpose with respect concerning the stronghold that He selected His kingdom to be established on this planet Earth as true and genuine, placed in a position by legal authority. Now, we are going to preserve a moral obligation in our country, the Philippines, because we, the Filipinos, we have the contributing force, which is the kingdom of God within us to control the situation. Like, for example, what Jesus said, I will give you the keys of the kingdom. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth will be lost in heaven. Meaning, the king of heaven gives us the keys of the kingdom that he gives us dominion, power, authority here on earth. The same dominion, power, and authority that our father has in heaven. That once you impel force from the region of his invisible kingdom, he will going to strike accurately the physical because our duty and concern as God's ambassador here on earth is to form and combine heaven and the earth to function these two as one. Bring the culture of heaven on earth, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth, just exact a carbon copy of heaven. The earth renew itself and it never disobey against its creator. Pag sinabing renew, uh, it rebuilds the earth itself it uh, uh in a high school na natatanda ako yung table of elements uh, 26 lang yun o kaya 30 yung gold silver copper boron potassium magnesium but uh last year uh tiningnan ko to chinek ko sa national bookstore na uh, i found out na 118 na ang table of elements so ibig sabihin uh, nagre-renew ang earth itself. It does not obey uh, against its creator. Kundi nadadagdagan pa, marami pang mga hindi natutuklasan tayong mga uh, tao. So, uh, eh, in other words, uh, the earth was a victim of mankind's rebellion. That's why the kingdom of dominion, the kingship of dominion that God gave us did great good management. God gave man authority to control the earth, but sadly, uh, man give the authority of controlling the earth to Satan. Uh, makikita nyo yan, you can find it in uh, Luke chapter 4 verse 5. That's why the earth is groaning, weeping, crying, and sobbing in Lamelon, waiting for the manifestation of the sons and daughters of God. Why? 
Because the kingdom of darkness means that we have leaders who does not know the truth. They pay no attention about righteousness. They drop the subject regarding nobility. And they think no more uh, concerning integrity and dignity. Instead, they turn their deaf ear to wickedness. That's why, matter of conscience, majority of this leader who has poor and defective leadership has no place in the legislative house of assembly. Why? Because they abuse the earth and abusing one another, doing violence and misusing earth's resources. That's why a kingdom person must come to the front, lead the way, pull the string and play the first. Why? Because the world is a system. It is an order of things, a government, dominion, authority, and this system is the one that man used to rule the planet Earth. That's why human seat of government or uh, constitutional government was uniquely appointed by God in holy orders. For what reason? To uphold the object of special attention uh, with bright idea of arrangement and govern uh, his perfect law on earth. King God was to be the crown head king, authority, mastership of supreme over human government, and it was to take effect on the basis of his word according to his absolute idea and original intention. Pero nakalulungkot, sadly, uh, it is obvious in the world today that a lot of government leaders did not succeed to duplicate the original plan of God. Why? Because most of them, not all, huh? most of them became corrupt, evil, and burdensome. They did not behave on the perfect law of God. That's why a large number of this government even their rulers do not even admit the existence of God. They became kingdom of this world influenced by Satan. Now, this is why God sent His only begotten Son. Uh, in meaning, Jesus came to earth to save the world's stem. This is kingdom. Ito ang ibig sabihin ng John 3.16. Jesus came to earth to restore the world system back to God's kingdom system. Now, what are these systems? These systems are political system, educational system, judicial system, media system, business system, music and arts, sports system, family system, and church system. Now, if you remember in uh, uh, Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6, For to us a child is born, si Jesus yon. To us, a son is given, you see Christ the Spirit, and the government will be upon his shoulder. Jesus the body is the Spirit. Ngayon, ito isa, isa ito, ha? hindi ito dalawa, kundi binibigyan ko lang kayo ng uh, deep revelation about Jesus and Christ. Because Jesus Christ, He is a combination of human and divine, a mestizo of heaven and earth, union of God and man, the mixture of God, the Creator, and God-like the created being. He is the merging of mortal man and immortal God, the blending of supernatural and natural. That's why the moment you believe in Jesus, then as your Lord, King and Savior, then your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And because the Holy Spirit is within you, then Christ in you. And because Christ in you, therefore, uh, tulad ni Jesus, you are also a combination of human and divine, a mestizo of heaven and earth. That's why Jesus nakadesign yan for earth. At ang purpose niya is to reconnect man back to God. Christ, the Spirit, nakadesign yan in heaven. At, and it's, uh, ang purpose niya is to restore what man lost because man lost dominion. That's why Jesus Christ's purpose is to unite and bring together into relationship the gentle manner of heaven on earth. Why? Because the system of this world is influenced by Satan, is corrupt, morally impure, mental and moral blindness. Uh, that's why the begotten son wants to bring back by sowing the seed of the kingdom of heaven, sculpture here on earth. So, yun ang dahilan. That's why Jesus arrived 
on this planet Earth to eradicate uh, the influence of Satan. Uh, Jesus will go to rehabilitate us back uh, to kingdom government system. Why? Because he wanted to change the world system from kingdom of darkness to kingdom of God. What reason? Because the kingdom of this world is wrong side up. So, ano dapat gawin? It needs to be turned up side down. In order for what? In order to be right side up. So, 360 degrees counterclockwise direction. Kailangan talaga yan. That, that's the reason why Jesus came to save the political system. Uh, because uh, the prince of this world system is destroying humanity. Uh, for example, hamba, yung political, uh, yung political kaya dumumi at actually yan ay talagang malinis yan, ang Diyos ang lumikhaan niyan. Kaya yan dumumi dahil sa mga maruruming isip ng mga politiko. So it needs to be turned upside down. Ang uh, business system o oh, nandiyan ang mga oligarch. Oligarch is the one who controls attractively uh, the cause of, uh, uh, of the dead uh, oppressing human affairs with perocious hellish delight. Kataya niya ng water concessionaire. Uh, Kinukon nila. Uh, especially uh, educational system. Uh, yung educational system, uh, siyempre lahat ng school eh, uh, dapat accredited ng CHED at ng DepEd. No? Pero... Uh, ang nakalulungkot, uh, ang daming graduate nating mga leaders even around the world, they are professional. Pero sila yung may mga kasong plunder, uh, mga na impi may mga uh, uh, use of power and grade misconduct. And accredited yan ng CHED at ng DepEd. Pero kung titingnan mo in a deeper way, these, these people are professional. But look at their attitude, behavior, and character, very unprofessional. So, itong kingdom uh, message na uh, as you seek first God's kingdom and His righteousness, mas malalim ito. Kaya, sinabi, pag sinabing accredited, uh, yan ay sinertifikan, pinayagan ng uh, CHED at ng DepEd, ang mga school na yan. Pero, uh, at this moment, once you seek first God's kingdom, ay eh, masasabi ko na dapat ang CHED at ang DepEd, magpa-accredit muna sila dito sa uh, RACnet. Kasi, more than professional ang message ng kingdom you will going you must to uh, going to understand the grand original design of god uh, mas higit itong uh, uh, more than professional ang message ng kingdom uh, dahil yan uh, yan ang dahilan kaya si jesus he came here on earth to save uh, the political system because all business system sports and media system family system church system because the prince of this world is destroying humanity. So, pangatlo, whoever believes in him should not perish. Meaning, uh, those who are practicing and prescribed to the intended purpose of the king will not be destroyed. But, the moment when you violate the law of the king, of course, uh, the rule of the iron, the rule with the rod of iron of the king will... Uh, prosecute you and give you chase in hot pursuit and you cannot run the long arm of the law because uh, you make the law of the king a dead letter and because of it your life becomes unlawful and in conclusion the king will tell you i never knew you you who practice lawlessness in other words uh, when the king say i hate drugs and corruption therefore every citizen you must obey the laws of the land if not I will kill you. So, yan yung sinasabi sa Proverbs ni Haring Solomon, the wisest king on the earth, na ang utos ng hari hindi mababali. At pag nagalit ang hari, may buhay na masasawi. In other words, if you terrorize Marawi City or any place involving drugs and corruption because you make the law of the king a dead letter, your life becomes unlawful. And therefore, the law enforcer has the right to kill you because it is allowed and sanctioned by the law and they will receive madam the king that those law enforcers are valiant people or a man of valor so 
kahit sila nakapatay ng mga terorista, yung mga law enforcer, hindi sila makukulong. It is not punishable by law. Sasabitan pa sila ng medalya. Unlike yung mga terorista, pag sila nakapatay ng sundalo, mga civilian, ay punishable by law yan. Talagang dapat silang patayin. So, in other words, John 3.6, ito yung logic niyan na sa Bible, that one saw the fruit was good for food, pleasing to the eyes and desirable for gaining wisdom, she took some and ate it. And she also gave some to her husband who was with her. So maliwanag, naandoon si Adam kasama, hindi kumikibo. Adam was with him. Adam did not do anything while Satan is making conversation with Eve. Ang logic is that Adam did not roar like a lion. And because he did not roar, then adverse lion came to steal, kill, and destroy what all Adam has. Today, ang good news, inside Maharlika Kingdom, we have a leader. And he knows how to roar like a lion. Ang sabi niya, I am a government worker. And my duty is to protect the welfare of my Maharlika Kingdom territory. Meaning, itong leader na to, he is roaring like a lion, expressing his authority within his domain. No? Uh, sinasabi niya na what actually, he is saying that uh, I am compelled to declare my dominion by legally obligated, exercising my uh, governmental controlling power inside my Maharlika Kingdom territory. Uh, I remember when I was in grade 4, meron tayong kanta dyan na Philippines are native land, the country of the brave, girl of all the Orient seas, the home of men upright. Ang ganda. Sipin mo, pair of all the seas, kingdom is like a pair of great value. Okay. So, uh, uh, the home of men upright. Upright here means righteousness. The right use of holiness. So talagang itong Pilipina, uh, hindi ako talagang nagtataka na talagang ito Maharlika Kingdom. No? That's why Jesus said in Matthew 5, 13 to 14, You are the salt of the planet Earth. And you are also the light of the world system. Now salt. Used to preserve food in good condition. No? Ang karakteristik ng salt, Para siyang bleaching compound of bleaching liquid na tulad ng Corox, used for whitening, decolorizing, toning down uh, the shades of meaning. No, uh, you can use this for to wash out for uh, all your disastrous and disgusting attitude, behavior, and character. You need to take them prisoners, and you must cause them to surrender to occupy all your unpleasant and troublesome character out and out and out completely without exception without qualification so yun ang ibig sabihin ng salt now light light means here that sinasabi ni Lord sa kanyang mga ambassador na yung uh, you are the light of the world meaning I want you I want my ambassador to speak loudly to produce a blatantly startling effect like roaring thunder I want you to say something with a shout I want you to discharge the wicked system of this world quickly without warning. I don't want you to be motionless. What I want to see in you is that I want you to be... Kaya ganyan ang ginagawa ng ating uh, leader na talaga ipinakikita niya. Uh, may mga listahan ng mga narco-politician at he announced it publicly. Yan yung sinasabing ni Lord na I want you to be loud and vociferous. Ngayon, oh, ilalatag na naman niya yung mga uh, listahan ng mga kasabot niya sa uh, tungkol sa tubig. No? At ang mga narco-politician. So dito, ipinakikita ng uh, taong ito, ng leader nito, na uh, he is representing a bold front. Hindi siya tatatakot. Talagang he is bold as a lion. No? A man of courage, a man of firmness. Pag sinabing man of firmness, uh, hindi mo siya kayang payukuin sa mali. Nakikipag- uh, sa water concessionaire na yan, eh, ang ginawa sa kanya, niregaluhan daw siya ng uh, 
uh, gold-plated caliber 45. Hindi niya tinanggap at talagang kinagalitan niya. Uh, uh, yun ang isang leader. Talagang pinakikita na siya ay a man of firmness. Hindi mo kayang payokunin sa mali. Ano? Manfulness, manly, soldierly, and heroic. Uh, sabi ng mga rebelde grupo, uh, pisto. Eh kaso, hindi na gustuhan ng ating leader yung pisto kasi ang gusto ng rebelde grupo eh yung gobyerno ang susunod sa kanila. Eh hindi pwede yun. Kung ganyan ang gusto ninyo, eh sabi ng leader na merong lion's heart, eh huwag na tayo mag Let's fight. So, ibig sabihin, ipinakikita nitong leader na to na talagang siya, he intelligently knows how to roar violently with, like a lion. No? A strong-minded person with a strong-willed personality as a leader. He can show fight, he can fire the first shots, he can strike the first blow, the first blow to destroy rebellious and disobedient people. Yun ang talagang pinakikita niya. Kaya sa atin, mga Pilipino, If the Maharlika people will not going to roar, ang mangyayari sa atin, then adverse lion with demonic character will going to steal, kill, and destroy all what we have. So, yun ang pinakikita sa atin dito na mayroon. Ayan ang ibig sabihin ng John Priest system. No? But, itong ikatlo, uh, uh, itong uh, apat na but have everlasting life, uh, ibig sabihin, ah, uh, Those who are firmly faithful and devoted to the kingdom business calling of the king, the words of honor of the king is that uh, they will live a life of heaven on earth. Sa John 5.24, it says here that, sabi, sabi ni Jesus, Jesus speaking here, Whoever hears my word, Jesus yon, and believes him who sent me, ang father yon, has eternal life. Uh, and will not be condemned, he has crossed over from death to life. So dito, ipinakikita dito, uh, hearing Jesus is different from believing Jesus. Hearing Jesus is one thing, but you've got to believe to the Father who sent him. Uh, kung mapamansin natin, si Jesus, ang lagi niyang itinuturo sa atin ay ang Father. No? Palagi niyang witness ang Father. Uh, I am the way, the truth, and the life. going to the Father. Uh, hindi ako yung final destination niyo. I am only the way, the means for you to go to your final destination, which is the Father. Ayun yung itinuturo niya. Kaya sinasabi ni Jesus no, na uh, sa John 17.3, This is eternal life, that you may know Him. So, yung him dyan is speaks about the Father. Ang hirap sa atin, uh, we believe in Jesus, but we neglect uh, to believe on the Father who sent Him. So, sinasabi ko bang mali na maniwala kay Jesus? Hindi. Kaya lang, kailangan natin talaga maniwala kay Jesus. Uh, to those who believe in His name, He gave them the right to become children of God. So, kailangan natin maniwala kay Jesus as our Lord, Savior, and King. But, We should never neglect to believe on the one who sent him, and that is the Father. Why? Because eternal life uh, means that uh, it is not a life after you die. Eternal life is a privilege of knowing the Father eternally. As you continually know the Father, understand the Father, you are living in the lifestyle of the Father. That's why eternal life is about knowing the Father eternally. Sa Tagalog, Buhay na walang hanggan ng ama na active sa iyo dito sa lupa at yung buhay na yan, yan ay buhay na pang walang hanggan. So, yun ang ibig sabihin nun. So, ngayon, uh, ang ginawa ng religion, tanggapin mo ang Diyos, accept the Lord in your heart, in your life, and you will have eternal life. In heaven. Masahin natin yung John. If you read John 5 verse 39, Jesus said, You refuse to come to me to have life. Uh, si Jesus ang may sabi niya, You refuse to come to me to have life. Uh, ang ginawa ng religion, You invite Jesus to come into your life. Eh, hindi naman yun ang pinagagawa ni Jesus. Hindi naman siya nagpapa-invite. Ang ginawa, ang itinuturo sa ating na religion, inimbitahan yung hari na pumunta sa iyo. Uh, yung hari nga ang may sabi, sabi niya, Come to me, all of you who are 
tired and heavy laden. Sabi niya, siya yung nag invite That's why, dito sa puntong ito, ah, uh, Hypocrite preachers preach sugary preaching that causes truth decay that leads to truth loss. That's why you need Colgate. Ang spelling ng Colgate dito ay C-A-L-L-G-A-T-E. So, Colgate. Bakit Colgate? Okay, kaya siya Colgate. The king sent his servant, his messenger at the gate, calling and inviting every one of us to join his kingdom and religion. That's why Jesus came here on earth to, not to organize a religion, but he came here to invite each one of us to join his kingdom. Ang ginawa na religion, what religion means is this. They invent and innovate their own teaching that will fit into their religious denomination proper and suitable to their religious doctrine. That's why religion, they create rituals, ceremony, ceremony, and these are uh, perverse and can give disastrous effect in our spiritual life. Why? Because it is in a manner of conforming with actual fact that is crafty, insincere texture, and it becomes a final result by convincing people that all you need is to be loyal and faithful to the component of ceremony or rituals. Now, religious hypocrite wants the ceremony that is fitly consistent with drama effect pa that will make them righteous with God. And this kind of sharp practice having false color is what happened to Israel. At yan ay makikita nyo, you can read that in uh, Romans 9, 30-32. Ito, babasahin ko, sabi dito, What shall we say then? That Gentiles who did not pursue righteousness have attained to righteousness even the righteousness of faith. But Israel, pursuing the law of righteousness, has named to the law of righteousness. Why? Because they did not seek it by faith, but it is where by the works of the law, for they stumbled at that stumbling stone. Ayan. So dito ang makikita natin that uh, itong Israel, no? Uh, Israel, Uh, giving chase in hot pursuit to press on, seeking the law of righteousness, they did not arrive to attain on that law. Why? The reason is that they did not absorb it. They did not seek it by desiring, looking at the bright side of life, uh, but by practicing of rituals and ceremony. Bakit meron ba ng danger? Just yes, sir. Yes. This kind of practice gives people a sensuous enjoyment of ecstasy in paradise walking in the enchanted kingdom like going into rapture. But ang problema dyan, it only gives false sense of assurance in a ritual system of worship. Kaya pag binasa mo yung verse 33, sabi dyan ni Lord, Behold, I lay in Zion a stumbling rock of offense, and whoever believes on him will not be put to shame. So, uh, Connection niya na sa Luke 2018. Ang sabi ng Luke 2018, Whoever of you mistreat this rock or uh, this kind of message as worthless, God will going to treat you with insult piece by piece in two basis, putting you into shame of pulverization. At pagka ito naman batong ito, and to whom this rock drops, you will be actually completely be destroyed irreparably. The word destroyed means to totally pulverize so that restoration is impossible. Now, there are religious organizations backing up rebellious group of people and they want uh, to exert disorder, disobedience against the government. These religious people who are deeply concerned with God but living in hypocrisy because of religious practices and continue to remain to their personal control possessed by the devil, these are worthless people. They are dead cheap people. They are never mind species of human race. Why? Because speaks in them is their own idea about God. They want to justify their lawless thought processes characterized by evil desire they are living into and showing are godly on the things they understand in themselves is actually wickedness. 
they deviate to their line of duty in which they are legally bound to perform. That's why God will go into file a lawsuit against them. Official mis- misconduct, which means wrongful exercise of his lawful authority. Instead of sco- sowing kingdom seed, they sow wild oats and therefore these people are devil's advocate. Ngayon, syempre, uh, maraming kanyan, no? Pero ang isang matured ambassador delivering, delivering the message of them, uh, our goal and our purpose is not to make patama para asarin yung mga tinatamaan. The goal and purpose of matured ambassador to deliver the message of the kingdom is to make correction, to give new life, to introduce royal blood of the king, to turn on a new leaf. Hindi para patamaan, hindi para asarin, no. Matured ambassador will going to stand by at your side to back you up. Ngayon ang tanong, anong dahilan? For what reason? Okay, for you to invigorate and reestablish your original design. Why? So that you can attract God's approval again. You can attract God's favor again. You can attract God's commendation once again. At hindi lang yon. So that you can captivate God's uh, kindness, goodness, gentleness, and faithfulness over again. So yun ang goal ng mature ambassador. You can relish the good taste of God's volcanic, God's dynamic uh, kingdom governmental ascendancy over and over again and again. Yun ang goal and purpose ng mature ambassador. So iyan ang kingdom. Uh, ito ang mga bagay na ito uh, ito yung mga natutunan ko sa mga itinuro sa amin ni Sir J. Delina no? uh, 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 for your information talagang hindi naman ako talaga pastor I am a seaman for 18 years and uh, nung ako ay nagsimula magsik ng kingdom sabi ko iba itong kingdom kasi yan sinabi ni Lord sa Matthew 6.33 na seek first God's kingdom and his righteousness <laughs> Uh, uh, okay, Sir Gabe, uh, I appreciate uh, this man because he is a man of wisdom, a man of character, a man of influence. No, dati eh, hindi ko kayang gawin itong mga bagay na ito na sinasabi ko, pero siya, eh, pinush niya ako, pinalabas niya yung potential na meron ako na hindi ko naman alam, meron pala akong ganitong kakayahan na potential. So, uh, he 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 is the one who is pushing me to add value the superiority of my life that's why i begin to select a companion because my my companion na tulad niya he is a vital power uh, to my destination that's why i begin to select a person whom god chooses me uh, for me to become a kingdom person kaya napaka importante sa akin na taong ito at talagang nakita ko sa kanya na he is truly a king maker at uh, dahil dito ay eh, papasalamat ako sa Panginoon na kilala ko si Sir Jay. Uh, uh, siya yung matagang nagturo sa amin. At uh, dahil dito eh natutuwa ako dahil sa ginawa niya dito sa akin na hindi ko ina-expect na ako pala ay eh, mayroong ganitong kakayam magturo. At uh, na mat- matyaga siyang magturo. Talagang uh, bilib ako sa kanya. Uh, so uh, Sir Ariel, uh, yun lang po ang may babahagi ko uh, about uh, John 3.16 no? uh, because uh, ito yung uh, kingdom na na-receive ko uh, in a deeper revelation and I believe that the Holy Spirit will go if I will going to continue uh, seeking God's kingdom and uh, there, we will, there will be more a lot of uh, deeper revelation uh, na itatrust niya daw sa mga ambassador na talagang franchise only to his uh, trusted ambassador. Uh, yun lang po and good evening po sa ating lahat. Wow! Maraming salamat po sa isang napakayaman at napaka saganang kapahyagan ng ating amang nasa langit. Tunay nga po that uh, what you have shared with us here in Usapang Kaharian ay Napakahalaga at napaka-importante na ito'y maunawaan po ng ating mga kababayan Especially here in the Philippines Katulad ka ng sinabi mo that Ang bansang ito talagang ay It is a maharlika nation At alam niyo po, nung kinanta niyo po yung inaawit noon Yung 
yung yung sinasabi niyo yung Philippines uh, native blood. Yes, Philippines native blood. Ako po ay na bless hmm. sa awit ni Wanda. Talagang may hagod at may rema at galing sa puso ng ating Panginoon. Oo. Oh. <laughs> O maraming salamat po isang napaka makapangyarihan na mensahe na dapat mapakinggan ng mga Pilipino at hindi lang ng mga Pilipino of course ng buong mundo dahil ang ganitong klase mga impormasyon ay bibihira lamang mapakinggan. Katulad ka ng lagong sinasabi uh-huh. yung kapahayagan sa kaya ng Diyos. Uh, kahit mo saan hanapin yan, mas nauna yung revelation ng mga nasa kaya ng Diyos kaysa sa Google. Kasi mag- as- mas advanced <laughs> ang mga nasa kaharian ng Diyos. <laughs> wow. Thank you very much. And I know that this is not the last time we will have you in this program. And this is only the beginning. And see you this coming uh, January 30 and 31. Sige po, Mr. Ariel. Good night yes, po. po. Maraming maraming salamat po sa buhay nyo. At kingdom saluto yung ambassador. Sa- Salamat ho and see you po doon sa ating Kingdom Talk sa January 30. Yes, see you po. And bye-bye po na po. <laughs>